Hello everyone, this is Lunacy05 and I'm back again to review the 25th anniversary G.I. Joe action figure toys. And today I'm sad to say that I'm reviewing the Cobra Ninja Viper. Now, like us always, I will uh, start with the packaging first before we go to the um, figure. Now, uh, this artwork actually uh, um, is reminiscent to the vintage uh, 1980s or um, probably 19, uh, 1990s um, uh, artwork from the Ninja Viper. Uh, probably some changes. I actually didn't even research much on, I have to be honest, I didn't research much on this, uh, on the packaging actually because I simply hate the figure. Well, you got this uh, sort of like a light green uh, uniform for the Ninja Vipers, right? It looks all right in the packaging. Wait until for the next week, uh, the part two review when we talk about the figure itself. And, uh, that is horrible. Now, uh, at the back here uh, is stated uh, that's the Hasbro Toy Malaysia sticker here, and on the beams for the figures. And the, uh, the bottom part here we have the file card for the Ninja Viper. Now, here's the funny thing. Primary ni uh, military specialty is Ninja. What the shit is that? What the, what the hell does it mean by that? You, you can't say Ninjutsu? Oh, I don't know why. Uh, they could have put it stealth. A secondary military specialty is sabotage. Again, when we come to part two and we inspect the accessories, I don't. I will explain to you that uh, that there is no way in hell that this guy can actually sabotage anything. Uh, as stated, recruited from the highest ranks of the Cobra Viper Corps, the Cobra Ninja Vipers are the most elite representation of the ruthlessness in Cobra. Seriously, come on. What sort of self-respecting ninja wears green anyway? Unless he's a jungle ninja viper, then it makes sense. But come on, this kind of color? Anyways, uh, I'm not even going to go much on the packaging. There's nothing much to talk about. Uh, the file card just um, blatantly... Um, try to make the buyer or the consumer or the kids more impressed by this character. They even said that there are no less than 10 level black belts in karate, jujitsu and kung fu. Why kung fu? Why not taekwondo? Why kung fu? That's Chinese martial arts. Ninja don't use that. I mean, where, where did, uh, yeah, never mind, I don't even want to. Uh, they say that these villains are extremely obedient and always carries out their orders to the latter. They, are, they, uh, they function as covert submissives, subversives, uh, subversives who can persuade anyone to do their bidding by entrapping the person in one of their patented martial arts maneuvers. What? Uh, I, I simply hated this figure, but. We'll continue on the part 2 review of this Ninja Viper coming soon. Stay tuned. 